Differences over Taiwan's status have heightened tensions between the island and the mainland. In response, Taiwan recently unveiled its first domestically developed submarine, marking a significant step in the island's defense enhancement and its efforts to deter the Chinese Navy. Taiwan has prioritized its indigenous submarine program as part of a broader initiative to modernize its armed forces, while Beijing continues daily military exercises to assert its sovereignty. In this video, let's take a closer look at the Haikun-class submarine and analyze how its deployment might complicate a potential Chinese invasion. Taiwan, officially known as the Republic of China, is an island situated across the Taiwan Strait from mainland China. It has maintained self-governance since 1949, separate from the People's Republic of China. The PRC considers Taiwan a renegade province and aspires to reunify it with the mainland. With a population of 23 million and its own democratically elected government, Taiwan's political leaders hold varying perspectives on the island's status and its relationship with the mainland. Tensions between the two have notably increased since the election of the current Taiwanese president in 2016, accompanied by increased military exercises by Beijing. China's People's Liberation Army flew 225 sorties into Taiwan's air defense identification zone within the span of only 18 days in September 2023 and held significant naval exercises in early October. Although dwarfed by China's population and military strength, Taiwan has been enhancing its training and military stockpiles. The recent unveiling of the first domestically manufactured submarine prototype not only showcases its growing defense industrial capabilities, but also sends a clear message to China that any attempt to blockade or invade the self-governed island will come at a high cost. The strategic deployment of the anticipated fleet of eight new attack submarines by Taipei, possibly in cooperation with the US and Japan, will be pivotal in its efforts to deter or respond to China's increased aggression. Now, let's explore the origins of the Haikun-class submarine. Since 2001, Taiwan has sought to modernize its aging submarine fleet, comprising two Dutch-built Haikun-class submarines from the 1980s and two US-built GUPPY-class submarines that served in World War II. In 2003, the US offered to supply submarines to Taiwan, but Taiwan ultimately chose to pursue domestic production, shifting away from foreign acquisitions. In May 2019, Taiwan unveiled its design for a domestically built diesel electric attack submarine as part of the Indigenous Defense Submarine Program. Named Haikun, after a sea monster from a Chinese legend, the 70-meter-long submarine was officially launched on September 28, 2023, at a Kaohsiung shipyard operated by the state-owned CSBC Corporation. Interestingly enough, the Haikun class submarine features a reverse-engineered design from the Dutch-supplied Haikun class, but with several distinct improvements, including advanced systems supplied by the US. With a displacement of 2,500 tons, the Haikun boasts X-form rudders for high maneuverability and a contemporary blended sail, which incorporates a modern mast system supplied by L3 Harris. These masts, similar to those found on the U.S. Navy's Virginia class, offer several advantages. They don't breach the hull, enhancing safety in case of accidental collisions, and they are modular, enabling easy replacements. The submarine's armament includes the U.S.-supplied MK-48 Mod 6 Advanced Technology Heavyweight Torpedoes, with 18 units approved for sale to Taiwan back in 2020. These torpedoes offer both anti-ship and anti-submarine capabilities. Additionally, the submarine will feature the submarine-launched UGM-84 sub-harpoon, a version of the U.S. Navy's harpoon anti-ship missile already in service with Taiwan's high lung class submarines. These weapons are integrated into a combat management system provided by Lockheed Martin, which receives target data from the submarine's primary sensor a Raytheon-supplied sonar suite with a bow array below the torpedo tubes and large flank arrays along both sides. Priced at $1.5 billion, the Haikun prototype will undergo underwater testing by the end of this year and proceed to sea trials, with plans for delivery to the Navy by the end of the following year. Taiwan intends to introduce a second submarine into service by 2027, potentially bringing the total number of combat-ready diesel-electric submarines to three by 2025. 
This count could rise to four by 2027, if including the two Dutch-made high lung class submarines. The fleet's main objectives will be to help counter a potential Chinese blockade or invasion by safeguarding Taiwanese ports and denying access to surrounding waters, a strategy crucial given the expected presence of Chinese warships. The Hai Kun class can fulfill various critical roles, including monitoring Chinese naval movements and targeting high-value assets like carrier groups and amphibious landing ships. Furthermore, they could collaborate with U.S. and Japanese forces to secure vital choke points in the Western Pacific, ensuring the flow of essential imports. However, some experts point out that the Chinese Navy's underwater capabilities were once its weakest aspect, but China has since become a global leader in researching key maritime technologies such as coatings, undersea wireless communication, sonar, acoustic sensors, and unmanned underwater vehicles. This raises questions about whether submarines alone can effectively deter China's aggressive reunification plans, with some experts stating that Taiwan should also consider investing in UUVs and other advanced maritime technologies. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.